myself, baby. My family, my children, my mother can hold her head up in any neighborhood in the city when she walks down the block. See? In all the five boroughs, I'm known. Forget about it. I just wanted me a jump shot Till I wanted me a dumb night Cut the ball us up In the awesome party With the last paycheck That McDonald's tossed me I'ma run it up Sting ain't even stop Yet I'm running up Dots throwing shots Cause I'm coming up 40 second hundred block Words going up Go ahead with your plot If you dumb enough Salute, salute, salute. Uh, ah, <laughs> tell these niggas. It bothers them. And they were smoking that shit out. Hey, too. Uh, hey, my brother just popped up too. Another one of my brethren just popped up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? What's happening right now? What the fuck is happening right now? Shooter, is that you, bro? Shooter. Hey, what's up? Shout out to Avocado. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, hell no. Not this nigga. Hey. I know they like, I know the fans you know, like, fuck <laughs> him right now. We not fucking with the shooter right now. Hey, this nigga shooter the feds, bro. He said he the feds. <laughs> what's good with it, bro? What's yeah, happening? Nigga, shooter, you, hey, shooter, you the feds, bro. Oh, I'm the fed. No, the fuck I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you, look, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. But nah, man. Nah. Shout out to everybody in the um, Battle Rock community. That's what's up, man. Um, how, how's everything been going with you, bro? Uh, life. Life. Um, everything been going well. Um, I, uh, working on making progress mentally, sp spiritually. And everything. I'm um, going through my process. That's all. That's what's That's up. All. That's what's up, man. I I know um I know you've been getting uh you've been getting a lot of backlash over situations that happen, but I've been trying to tell the people that you kinda of, like you you nipped all of that shit in the bud and now you want some you want some next level shit. Facts. Yeah. Um I think it's very important, bro. I think me taking the time out right now and getting my mental health straight. I think that's important right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, once I get all of that and working through all my um, trigger points and all my traumas and stuff, once I work through all of that, then I think everything will be good. But behind the scenes, um, trust me, me and B.A. got something cooking up. <laughs> Don't tell so, nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah, yeah, we got to. We got to, man. Hey, we shooter. got to. Yeah, hey, what's shooter. up with it? I heard you was out here. I heard you was out here calling people niggers. <laughs> <laughs> can you hey, explain? Can you, can you explain that to us? <laughs> Yo, who 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 was I calling? Hey, listen, listen. It no, just depends on who I was talking to. Right back. Like, like, look, you got to understand this, that nigger, it's a difference between nigger and nigga. It's a difference. So you telling me that I was saying I the word it. nigger, I, I would never, I would never call nobody a nigger. That's a derogatory word. So nah, man, I would never call nobody nigger. If boy, you the same hey, color boy, as me, I'm going to say nigger. Huh? They've been talking about this one brother like for three days straight. They've been talking about this one brother. Who? Who? Uh, what's his name? Infamous. Don't get King me started, Infamous. Bro. Say he from Chicago. That nigga not from Chicago though, bro. Uh, yeah. You talking about I can't me. wait to run into him on one of these labs. You talking about look, 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 <laughs> well, look, look, man. Look, 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 listen, look, listen. I'm gonna just say this. I'm gonna just say this. Shout out to everybody in the Battle Rap community. I already apologized to them, me, Detroit. You know, I was bugging. I was tripping. My shoe strings was tied together, so I was tripping. But at the same time, you know, I think that the most important part is for me to do my research first before I go off of what other people are saying and all of that. Now, every time I go on live, sometimes I do a little bit too much. Sometimes I rant. Sometimes I do all of that other stuff, but it's based off of 
what I'm feeling. But <coughs> at the same time, that's not the right way to go about it. So it is what it is. But as for King Infamous, man, I'm not trying to hear nothing about no King Infamous right now. Shout out to him and everything else that he got going on. So I'm just on the positive vibe right now. Boy, King Infamous is from King Infamous is from Lombard, P Black. He not from Chicago, bro. He from Lombard. That boy is not from the city. That boy, hey. That boy is not from the city, my G. Well, I just know when I come and watch your watching you in your live, I said salute to you, Nick. And you just be like, salute. Who? Salute. No, no, no emotion, no nothing. No nothing. I swear that shoot hey shooter, you be emotionless as hell, bro. What's <laughs> up? Oh me? He be like, what's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah, he be like, what's up? <laughs> right. That's on the real. What's up? Like, damn why. You can't be like, hey, what's up, shooter man? How you doing? What's up? What's up? Just, just, like, just, just, like, just like I said, bro. Like, look, I feel what you're saying, bro. But you got to also, just like I told you, bro. Just like I told you, I'm working on my process. So sometimes I be out of it. You know what I mean? I don't get no emotion off of it. Like behind the scenes, like BA could testify to this. But how I sound right now is different how I sound behind the scenes. It's different because you get a different part of me. Yeah, you get you really get a different part of me, especially if I'm talking about something that I'm passionate about. You just a yeah. homie. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, but if if you closer to me, you get a whole different energy because I I, I go off of my energy. You know what I mean? Thanks. I I I, I think. I think when it when it when it um when it all boils down, bro, like you were just saying when you first got on here, um, mental health is huge, bro, and a lot of people don't talk about that shit, especially through this COVID situation. You feel me? And especially mm -hmm. if you are doing as much traveling as you're doing, and you're behind the scenes, and I'm not trying to make no excuses for anything or anyone, but mental health is fucking real, motherfucker. It's it a is. lot of people like your mind can really play tricks on you. You can really get mm -hmm. exhausted to the point where you start talking shit and you think everybody against you, etc. So I already know what Facts. I know what time it is, bro. I know what time it is. Facts. Well let me let me add to this. Uh, I'm I'm going through it right now also with you also right. shooter. Yeah. Um I'm clinically um Depression, PTSD, and personality disorder. Right. Borderline or personality disorder. So I'm going through it right now. You know what I mean? Right. But I have to separate just to, to kind of balance things so I won't get into that dark place. I'm 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 teetering right now. That's because we've been going through, uh, you know, as as a culture or as black men, we, we deal with life. And then we deal with life that, like the COVID and, and, and working and, and things like that. You know what I mean? On top of what you've been dealing with all your life. Right. Then you got people in the culture that kind of trigger you because of their behaviors and their actions. I know for me, I'm not gonna speak for everybody else. I know well, for me. For me too. For me too. It is. Because you right. gotta also understand where I came from, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, I hate when people try to put that that label on me and it's like, oh, speech impediment. Don't put that in, don't put that on me. I talk just fine. But it just be stuff that I have to go through. I have to work through it. I may not talk like you, but that doesn't mean I have a speech impediment. Maybe I don't say it fast enough like how y'all want me to say it. But when I feel like when you say certain things, like you you put power into it. Don't put that kind of disease on me. Right. Like don't do that. 
but it be trigger words that people say like you're a clown you're slow you dumb you this you that and those are trigger points now go back into my childhood life i was told that i don't see so much stuff that was going on and those are trigger points that that makes me mentally exhausted yeah and it, it's the trigger point. It, it does something to me. That's why I feel like for my mental health, maybe battle rap ain't for me. Because people are say the wrong thing. You don't know if they playing or joking. You don't know that. And I don't know them personally. So, therefore, in the, you know, I just got to charge it to the game. Let me, hey, let me say this, Shooter. Shooter, in, in, in a mental, in a mental health, the space battle rap is cool. Let me let me came up. Let me just tell you. In a mental healthy space, you you'll be fine with battle rap. Okay? What I did all the three things I just told you what I go through. Mm-hmm. In the unhealthy I step back. I, that's why I I have to. I got to step because I will take things and I'll take things the wrong way or shit. I normally would just laugh about now I'm in my feelings and now I'm looking crazy because now I'm, I'm coming at you, which I, when I shouldn't be coming at you, you know what I mean? So in the healthy space, battle rap is cool because you can laugh that shit off because you know what it is. In the unhealthy space, you have to distance yourself from this, or turn your comments off, or turn don't don't have nobody retweet you, retweet you, no none of that, because it will it will distract you and you'll start focusing on that shit. You know what I mean? So take your time, bro. You you you'll get yeah. through this a second at a time every day, right? And I appreciate the advice, my brother. I definitely do. I just wanted to let the fans know that's what I'm doing. And this is strictly for get your bars up. That's a fact. This is, I wouldn't be on here this, either. This, yeah, this is strictly for get your bars up, you know, because I know the fans on here is very genuine, very caring, not ruthless or nothing like that. Because battle rap fans, it's like they come and go. But at the same time, I'm new doing this. So I don't know. The do's and the don'ts. I don't know this because this is me just basically trying things out and trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work. You understand? So, just like I said, I was once in that place. You know, you talking to somebody who's in the military. Um, I'm not going to really say too much about it, but I have done. I have dealt with racism. Yeah. And. Me, it came to a point where I went through something traumatic in my life that I was boxed in that I didn't want to open up about because who can I trust? And with all of that being said, you know, going through uh, the system, the court system, you know, once going to jail for something that I didn't do, sitting in there. But not only that, but you got to also factor the the whole URL situation. And that took a traumatic, that was a traumatic experience. Because the people that I want show love to, it's the same ones who diss me because I'm standing up for something that's right. So it had me to turn my back on my brothers, the people that really cared about me, especially them, me, Detroit. And that wasn't that wasn't right at all. It was fucked up. But once again, I didn't know who to trust. I, I just went off of emotion instead of checking it, you know. But I'm a man. I make mistakes. I'm not saying that it's OK, but I'm going through my process right now. It has been thoughts that I wanted to kill myself. It has been those thoughts, those thoughts. Yeah. And that's something that. I'm a man that I could I could I could confess to that, but at the same time, I'm still going through my process because I got someone to live for that's more than myself, which is my beautiful son. Facts. Facts. 
Facts. I um I want to say, bro. Whenever you get to that point, don't be ashamed, right? Don't go get help because I had to at that point where your mind is telling you to do that every day, all day. I was lucky enough to be able to get the help I needed to go get the medication to stabilize me so I can live a productive life because I have three children of my own. Right. You know what I mean? And That's... it's not my fault of what I had to deal with in my past. Right? As a black community, we don't talk about a lot of things. And especially... I'm 46 years old. I'm be, I'm, well, I'll be 46 in June. And back in my day, you, there's certain things you didn't speak about. Yeah. Right? This thing, you could something could have terribly happened to you. You're not speaking about it. It's facts. And you know I hold I mean? all of it in. And I hold yeah. all of it in. And it's not, and it's not healthy. It's not healthy. But I kind of want to bring that awareness kind of want to bring mental awareness out so i'm going to get the proper help go through my process well i'm already getting the help now now you know yeah but i'm going through but i'm going through it and uh getting getting working through those problems but when i come back then basically going you're going to see a whole nother uh you're going to see more like of me you're going to see the real me Instead yeah. of faking to be something that I'm not, you're gonna see the whole me, like the real me. Okay. And I'm you have a, a you whole. have a therapist, right? You you are you looking or talking to one? That's always key. Someone yeah. to yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I recommend to is. everybody, man. Like to be honest, yeah. like you know, a lot of the battle rap community has mental issues. They just they they. Um, they feed into it, you know, like, for right. example, I'm not gonna, I'm no, this is no disrespect, yeah, but, um, um, Yoshi, mental health, she plays into that, because I could play into my mental health also, but I choose not right. to, because that's not me, that's something that, that, I had I experienced that 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 caused me trauma, right? That that I can't control, or I couldn't control, or I couldn't get the help. And if I did get the help, it was the wrong help. So you don't deal with it until you're an older person, knowing like, oh shit, I fucked up. Like I had something, or or I'm thinking the wrong way, or. Why am I? Why am I treating people bad? Why am I acting this way? You know what I mean. So I, 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 I want people to stay safe, right? And I'm saying this yeah. because I'm shooters in it. I, I'm in the middle of it right now, and there's no cap because BA knows before we even had this little conversation because we had a meeting earlier, right? Yeah, you know I mean, I think I think mental behavior health, like mental health, mental awareness, like it needs to be talked about, you know, because so many people take their lives, you know, um, where I'm at right now, a lot of a lot of people go missing. Yeah, and then it was somebody who recently took his own life two days ago, and he was in my unit. So that's something that, you know. Maybe if he would have got the proper help, maybe he'll still be here right now. But, you know, with me being, you know, with Uncle Sam and everything, I had three deaths last year. I had my father, my grandma, and my sister. And I didn't go to none of their funeral due to the regulations of the Army and due to COVID. So... Instead of fighting, I'm I'm still trying to cope with that. And my first time going back home was uh, December. 
And that was basically the scene, you know, go back to Duval. And that helps some. But it is what it is. Who the hell is sleep? <laughs> Who is sleep? <laughs> Harlem? Harlem. It got to be Harlem. He's the only one I'm muted. Pronto. Oh, you, I know you fucking lied. Part of Fred. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Snorlax ass nigga. <laughs> Fronto. Fronto. No, nah, that's Snorlax. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yeah, I hey, yo, hey, Snorlax. I've been, here, I've been sitting here the whole time. Like, I know they gonna talk about this nigga that went to sleep on the live, bro. No, I, <laughs> like, man, yeah, I was like, what <laughs> the hell, man? What the hell, hey, man? What I'm the sitting hell? here like, I know they gonna say something about this nigga snoring in the bro, live. Bro. It was just, like, I just kept on hearing it. I was like, <laughs> what is that? Okay, talking about, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> right, right, right. Bro, hey, 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 you bogus is here because you should have said something. <laughs> <laughs> he could have said Hey, no, something. call that shit out. Call man, that shit bump, out. Man, bump, yeah, that, man, bump, yo, yo, call that I, shit out. Fellas, I just wanna I just wanna say though, uh salute to you, Capo, salute to you, shooter. It takes a lot for a grown man to actually admit. You feel me? Uh, uh, that he has mental issues or mental things going on with himself that he's trying to build and try to get back. So salute to both of y'all for coming out to the world with this information because most niggas, they, they, they feel they think that it's an insecurity. They think the shit's not normal, but everybody has these issues, bro. I've had these issues. You know, I'm, so I'm a survivor, day. man. I'm a survivor, bro. Right. You know what I mean? I've, I've we that we could we could really do something, to be honest. And you see where I'm you see where we at, shooter. We're doing we on a uh, battle rap channel. Yeah, this took I me know. away from this took me away from where I was earlier today. Like I was in a sunken place. Hey, Amen. Well, I'm I'm happy that we able to talk about it, but I feel like it's not being talked about enough. It's not. Do you know how many? Do you know how many brothers and sisters? that we can save just by having these talks. And just like I said, like I got a plan that's going, you know, that can probably cure a lot of people that probably touch a lot of people that's going through tell the same you why? thing. i tell you the reason why I haven't really kind of did that. Right. The only reason. If anybody ever disrespect me, and my mental health. Um, I have well, I will have to kill some straight up. <laughs> That's why, because I know we're in battle rap, and battle rap culture, they don't give a fuck. But knowing ninety five percent of the battle rap culture has some type of mental illness, they do. And maybe this is the reason for battling to release that anger, to release that frustration and everything. You know, we don't, we never know. But if you look yeah, at it, I, it's a I, like, like battle rap that, is a, it's a tough, like battle rap is a tough sport because mentally they breaking you down, they belittling you, and even right after the battle, you got to go home and think about that, and sometimes it makes you question who you are. It may be like, dang, whoa, am I this? Am I really this? Nah, it, it gets you to G-check yourself. But at the same time, you know, think about the embarrassment. Think about think about um, the whole Mike P situation. And I'm going to tell you, I didn't like that at all. You didn't see me make a blog about it. You ain't see me do all of this and that. And the whole world up there laughing at Mike P. But you don't know what he had to go through. What if he got so upset and he just killed the whole whole family based off of what they did and how we looked at? Oh my God! Like you know, what yeah. about what about if something would have actually happened? But people don't take the time out to really just think about that, you know. And, and, and they never they never will because the culture is about disrespect, and then a lot of the people are taking the culture and living in their everyday lives 
they're not separating the two. You know what I mean? And but that's not my uh-huh. job or your job to correct these motherfuckers. They should know better. They should. Why these bro. motherfuckers are grown adults. You right. know what I mean? I mean, my, my kid, my, I have it's loved ones. Everybody though. has everybody. loved ones. I have loved ones. So why te- Why? Everybody why? Be, everybody be a different, like, bro. Yeah. Everybody, everybody be a different. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like, okay, so like, for instance, B.A. know, B.A. know what's going on with me right now, bro. Like, I lost my brother a couple of days ago. Like, my blood, like my brother did, like a motherfucker. You feel me? And I'm yeah. dealing the way I deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all brothers ain't know that, and I really, I just hear what y'all are talking about right now. Only person that did know on this panel was B.A. because I talked to B.A. about it. You know what I'm saying? And like I lost, I actually lost my brother to a motorcycle accident. Come to find out, it wasn't an accident. They actually, it was a homicide. So they oh, caught, man. they caught, they caught the guy, and he in jail and everything. They caught him, but the nigga killed my brother. You feel me? So it's like I'm actually, I'm actually on here because this is therapy for therapy for me to talk to y'all brothers just to laugh and, but but like. I can definitely understand what y'all say. It's kind of like you go through life, man. I think it's, 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 it's mental trauma, it's, it's PTSD, it's all that. It's mental trauma and everything because we go through stuff that normal people don't go through and they don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so right. It, it's, just, it's just that simple, bro. Like I, like, like I said, man, I appreciate all y'all brothers right now because like y'all ain't doing appreciate it to get me through what's going on. But when I turn it when I when I when I turn this microphone off and I turn this computer off and I just and I just had this TV going, guess what, bro? I'm going I'm going to be woke all night because I can't sleep right now. You feel me? So so like, I understand what y'all brothers are saying, bro. Like like I ain't I ain't got no more brother. I got one more brother and, and he doing ten years right now. So I'm in the street by myself. Damn. I got bro. one brother left. I don't lost two. I don't lost two of my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Fast. So like, I just want y'all to understand. Like y'all don't understand. Like like I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say y'all don't understand. But like a lot of people don't understand what this internet do. The internet do it it, it tears people down and it messes people up. But the internet do help people. It help people like me because I need I need to sit back and talk to y'all and just be able to laugh. Even though I know when I get off of here in the next 15, 20 minutes, when I get off of here. Then I gotta deal with what I gotta deal with, which is real life. You know what I'm saying? But I do appreciate right. everybody that talk shit with me and laugh and everything. I do appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? But like, I, I like, I pray, I pray, man. I just pray that that as 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 people, as us, as a people, I just pray, like like Kappa was saying, I pray that we able to start talking about this shit because, like, if we don't talk about it and we don't have nobody to talk to, we ain't gonna get nowhere. We ain't gonna be no good. And we right. stop being able to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, man, well, I tell you what. I tell you what. We, all, you gonna, what. we I mean, all gonna get through this. To be honest, we're all gonna get through this. Um, if, but if I definitely appreciate. I, can, I definitely appreciate I can be, y'all. I can be all dead this after that I had tonight. Last year, I appreciate I, all I, of it, bro. Last year. I definitely needed it, bro. So it's like because we can get through. We all can get it's through. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, Keystone. Yeah. You know what time it is, bro. You know we, hey, <laughs> you know what time. Like it real is. shit, capo. Like real shit, capo. I found out tonight. I just found, hey, I just found out tonight that my brother, my brother, my brother' death was not an accident. It was a homicide, bro. They ran him off the road and killed him, bro. I just found nah, that shit out tonight, bro. bro I, I know your feeling, bro. So it's like I know your feeling, bro. I know you're feeling. Just a couple of months ago, my home, my homies got killed. Like, my homie got killed. Know, my homie got hey, shot. I just got. I just got to thank. I got to thank everybody on the panel and thank everybody in the chat. I thank y'all. I thank y'all just for just being normal, man. Because like right now, I just need some normal shit because I already know what it's gonna be when I get up off here and I ain't talking to nobody. I know where my man gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's all good. I think it's very important important that we have these discussions, though, for real. And I I can assure y'all, when I come back and on the platform that me and B.A. about to cook up for y'all, we're going to talk more about that. But we're going to try to spread it worldwide, like, you know, to try to get everybody to talk about it because it definitely needs to be talked about, especially 
as us being African Americans. But even if you're not African American, I think all over the world, it needs to be talked about. It has to be. Because this is cure. This is cure for everybody that's going through something. You don't know what nobody going through. Somebody might have lost yeah, a life. Right, Somebody bro. might be going through a divorce yeah. right now. Somebody might be going through like you know, like they got to have a procedure. You know what I mean? Done. They stressing about that. You never know what's going on for real. So that's a fact. So that's what that's why we here, man. That's exactly why we here. Like and I said, man, it's all man. about the. The positive stuff, bro. Like, like right now, y'all don't understand how this internet, like this internet right now at this particular point, is it's been getting me through the last two days, bro. Cause I talked to BA on the internet, me and him talked, and he was like, "Damn, bro." And me and him had a like a whole conversation in front of people, but it was just me and his conversation. But at the same time, people was listening. Somebody might need to hear it. I don't know. I don't. That ain't got nothing to do with me. But but bro had my back, and bro was right there listening. He he, he gave me an ear. He gave me an ear to talk to, and that's all I need at that point. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, like, even tonight, like, I'm talking to y'all brothers and everything going good, and we all laughing. We done cracked jokes. You know, we, we done did this. Y'all, mm-hmm. like, like, I I don't, I don't know if y'all ever lost, like, like or, or, or shoot, I know you say you lost your sister, so I know you probably can't understand, but, like, bro. Yeah, like, bro, bro, I, I, just lost, I just lost my brother, like, two days after his birthday. This was a couple days ago, bro. Like, real Damn, shit. Bro. Bro. It was, like, his brother. Like 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 hit like like bro birthday was like two days before that, and I talked to him and was like, I, hey, I'll be down there to see you, bro. We gonna kick it, and then two yeah. days later he, he passed, bro. You feel what I'm saying? On some yeah. on some, I thought I thought accident, but it, it come to find out it wasn't an accident. This this person actually murdered my brother. Damn, bro. So like, like like I like where you when coming it, from? Man, when it come down, when it boiled down to it, bro. I can't, I can't, I can't get no revenge or nothing because they already locked them up and all that. So I can't do nothing about it, but just pray that justice is, is served and and just kind of keep try to keep my mental straight. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's all yeah. I'm trying to do at this point, bro. Man, I can relate like to I you. Said, I, I, I appreciate y'all, man. To you, bro. I appreciate because y'all. my sister, this is one thing I read away, every day. Oh, go hold on, on. this go is on. one thing I read every day: the Serenity Prayer. That keeps my mind straight for the most part. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get back. Like honestly, like Capo, right, right, real shit, bro. I'm gonna have to get back into I'm gonna have to get I, back I, into I, like I've my, lost, my, I've lost my first bro, son. First. I lost yeah. my first son. So I understand the pain and things like that. You know what I mean? It's so, different, bro. Shit hitting different right now. You know what I'm talking about? It's hitting different. Like like listening to y'all brothers talk about about like you know mental illness and all that bro at the same time it's not even i ain't gonna say it's not but at it it comes to a point where it's just like you kind of you you kind of get put into that you see what i'm saying like like i lost my first brother to violence you know what i'm saying i lost my first brother like he was like pretty much beat to death my little brother my youngest brother he was beat to death you know what i'm saying what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gonna take that energy or and 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 let it let it be the same, or you about to or you want to change it? Because nah, you, you have, already know. Cap- you got kids, Cap- too, you know right? Me. You got family Bro, also. But you know me, right? But you know me. You know what I've been doing, right? You know what I've been doing. I, when it comes yeah, to the I understand. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a thousand. I'm gonna go a thousand percent even stronger when it comes to the youth, bro. That's all I'm gonna do, bro. That's all, all right. I can do is just put my energy into that, bro. Because if I put my energy back into the street, I ain't gonna do nothing but end up where my where, where, where my only other brother is. My only other brother locked up and he'd be out in he'd be out in two, three years. But I'll be in there with him if I if I put my energy into negative. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my energy positive where it's at now. I'm gonna continue to talk to y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to like this battle rap life and it's funny and it's fun and we're gonna crack up, we're gonna laugh. But but when it comes to like my energy as far as the, the youth, I'm just gonna show them it's something different. You know what I'm talking about? That's all I can do right now at this point, bro. But you need to take That's your all time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing what I've been doing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go even, even harder for the youth, bro. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm He's trying to change you people. Need to take I'm trying to change time, life, bro. Look, you need to take your time though, and 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 grieve. Let that that process take shape and and 
you can like transition to that. If you don't grieve first, you definitely gotta let you definitely gotta absorb it and let it go through you, hundred percent. Before you move on, that, that's yeah, when mental health. I'm, I'm taking it in, in be like, yeah, hey, man, you talk, in. bro. I'm telling you, I'm just taking it all in, bro. Thanks, thanks. All right, thanks. Just thanks. trust me. Just because I've been, I've, I've I've been checked it. into hey, the shit. hospital before. I was in, in in the mental place for two weeks. Boy, shit! I'm telling you, Capo, shit hit. Because that, shit that hit once, your, your, once your brain says, "I know y'all it's, know. it's over," that's all that happens. That's it, it, it's quick. And so you got like, bro, like, yeah, man. I gotta go. Like, I, I, I definitely. Like, look, like, um, I just, uh, like with my sister, when she passed away, man, like, you know, she was blind and, um, like she needed like chemotherapy for like her eyes and stuff, but the chemo that w they was giving her, right. It was bad for her heart, but she didn't know that. And plus she was pregnant with my niece. So by the time she had my niece, you know, she went to two different doctors so one doctor was saying like, hey, man, like, you know, she's good. You know, they just got to drain the fluid out of her feet and everything. But not knowing that it was like she had a heart problem and she needed another heart. She needed a heart transfusion. So they put her name on the list for the heart. But the thing was, they didn't get it to her in time. And um, it was it was very sad because, you know, she was one year younger than me. And we basically grew up around each other, you know. Yeah. Sure. So now, so now, yeah, you know, we me and my brother, bro. <laughs> we was too, we was we was uh me and my brother, bro, was like a year apart, bro. And me and that motherfucker, we talked damn it like every damn it every other day, bro. We talked. He he was, he was living in Florida, bro. But like, yeah, man. I thought you know, like when I told BA about it, I'm, I'm me and BA was talking. I'm like, man, bro. It was, a, it was a motorcycle accident, blah, blah, blah. You know, I done lost my brother, bro. So I'm just trying to, like, I just want to, I want to laugh. I just want to be straight. But then for me to find out today what really happened, that it was a homicide, bro, it's like, right. like, I really want to go outside and do something. You feel me? But I can't do something to somebody in Chicago and, and the shit happened in Florida. And then, and then it happened in Florida, and then they got the nigga that that he, that that did the shit. So it's like, what can I do but just grieve? You know what I'm saying? I can't. Hey, let me. I, I can't. Let me ask you something, Keystone. Let me ask you something. Do you believe in a higher power? Yeah, I believe in. I believe in Almighty. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the best way through that, my brother, is us praying together, bro, and us encouraging each other every day, bro. And us, you know, every once in a while, like, you know, just, just checking up, just do a um, pull up call or something like that. And yeah, just check what our mental is at. You feel me? Because that's the only way we're going to get through it. Like not through all this hate and all of this other stuff, but also like just through us, just conversating, bro. And just being like, Hey man, what's going on with you doing positive stuff? Take your mind off of it. You feel me? Yeah, I, you know, you, you know, what's so crazy though, shoot, because like, I was talking to my I was talking to my moms and shit earlier and she mm -hmm. was like she was like, Baby, you all right, baby, you okay? I'm like, Yeah, I'm okay. Like, you know, I just gotta I just gotta go how I go. You know what she asked me, she say, Well, you got anybody you able to talk to? And the first person I said, I was like, Well damn, I got a friend that live out west, he live out in Seattle and I call him BA and he was like <laughs> one of the people that I was able to talk to and I like real shit, I was able to talk to BA. And she don't know Thanks. shit about B.A. My mama mm -hmm. don't know nothing about B.A. All she knows is that B.A. is a nigga I talk to on the internet. That's all she know. But she knew I was nice. able to talk to that brother outside of my hood niggas. Because if I talk to my hood niggas, they, they own something. They own different. some other shit. Yeah, they yeah. own some other type of shit. They, bro. But see, it's right. like this. Y'all want to be on something different, but we can't do nothing about that because Buddy already locked up. And then on top of that, he going to go where he going to go and he going to get what he going to get because people are looking for him already. See, right. a lot of people don't understand. My, my 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 brother was a president of the Block Burners Motorcycle Club from Florida, Jacksonville, Florida chapter. So they don't understand that. Jackson. So they Bro, gonna that's, do what they that's gonna, where I'm they from. gonna do what they gonna do to that from. nigga in that joint. You see what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing to do with Shooter me. I'm in Chicago. Duval. Shooter dude hey. from Duval. 
Yeah, I'm from Duval, bro. Yeah, my hey, I'm from there. Hey, my brother was my brother was the, the block burners, my, the block burners president, in Jacksonville, Florida chapter, block burners motorcycle club. He was the president. They called him Joker, bro. On the real name, no, I heard. That, I heard that the name Joker. I heard. Yeah, that, that was, Joker, that, that was That's my brother, though. That's my brother. Hey, brother. He, that's my brother. He, he he on the north side over there by Flag Street. In Jack in Jacksonville. In Jacksonville on Flag yeah. Street. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Dang. House and everything over there, bro. Dang, small, bro. Small world, right? It's the small yeah, world. Yeah, man. For real. My brother just, hey, bro. My brother just died. That's my brother. You can look it up. I'm losing everything out there, bro. Well, shoot. I mean, like, ain't no need to look it up, bro, because we already, we already know. We already know, and That's I can crazy, tell you, man, like the, I love, said, the love is like the I said, love though, and respect going to be y'all. I definitely appreciate y'all. I appreciate the chat. I appreciate everybody, man. I appreciate y'all, hundred percent. Chats, man. I, hey, thank you for even sharing that, my brother. Like for real, it's like an actual reality check for myself, bro. Like for real. Because every time somebody says something to me, I always reacted and want to do something. But I had to understand, like, it's only internet. These people are going to type and they're going to troll and they're going to do whatever they feel like they're going to do. Nine times out of ten, they ain't going to do nothing, man. They just trying to get a view off of you. So I had to, had to get in my mental and find that balance because we got to keep each other balanced, bro. Yeah. And I, and I want y'all, I want both of y'all brothers to understand. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. This ain't no internet shit. I know I'm going to be cool in front of the cameras and talk to y'all. This is some real ass shit. Y'all want to talk? You feel me? Get at me. Y'all y'all know. Y'all got my info. Get at me, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I man. Really know, bro. Hey, you know man. I had to do with me, bro. Hey, you know, I pop <laughs> up. I pop up and talk shit, but at the same time, like, I go through my little shit, but in the same sense, bro, I kind of mask everything, you know what I'm saying? Because I kind of just look at it like this. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of, I, I'm the type of person that kind of stay to myself, bro. And you, and y'all, yeah, I, I mean, pretty much everybody that know me on here for real, y'all know how I am, bro. Yeah. Y'all know right, I kind of stay to myself, and then I'll pop back up, and y'all be like, "What's up, bro? You good?" And I'll be like, "Yeah, I'm good." But like, man, it be little shit I be going through, bro. Like shit. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I told, I had to tell my brother yesterday when he called, he called from the county, you know, not from the county, but from the joint, he in the joint. Right, right, so right. He called, I had to tell him about our brother. You see what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. He and that, he and that motherfucker not, you know what I'm saying, doing good or whatever. So like, man, it's, it's all fucked up, but in the same sense, like I said, like, when I got people like y'all, man, that I could just like laugh with, talk to. Just get my man off for just for a second. Just get my man off for it for a second. That That's helps right. Me. You know what I'm saying? That's that helps right, me. Bro. That helps this me. Right. And, I, and I do I definitely do appreciate y'all. And I appreciate the chat because the chat been showing love the whole time. I'll, ever since we've been talking, every time we talk on here, they show love anyway. But the chat been showing love. I love y'all too, man. I definitely appreciate everybody, bro. Like, like yeah, I talk shit. Y'all know me only here for the bullshit. Y'all know me, man. You can't find me. Y'all know I'm, I'm here to talk shit, but bro, everybody go through something, bro. I don't want y'all to think everything pieces of cream over here either, bro. It's, it, I go through shit too, just like everybody else, man. We all go through it, cuz. On the real, bro. Thanks. Take but hey, BA, hey, BA, 100%, though, bro. I love you, bro. 100%, bro. I got love for you, bro. For having my, like, 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 just even just sitting there listening to me yesterday, bro. Just listening, bro. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate yes. that. That meant, that meant a lot, bro. For you just to sit there and just listen, bro. That meant a lot, bro. Like I said, I'm like here. Real shit. I know. I mean, I might not. I might. Y'all might see me. Niggas always wonder why I smile so much and while I try to laugh and while I, why I always try to do unity shit, even when other niggas is on bullshit. They wonder why I try to why I smile. I've lost so many people that, that that like close important people in my life, bro, through gun violence, through health situations, and all of that shit. That's why I smile all the time as much as I can, so I understand the situations. It's been many times through all of this bullshit for the last twelve years of my life, me losing very important people. I didn't have anybody to talk to because everybody that I try to talk to, they want to be about them. 
They just want me. Yeah. They just want me. Yeah, to, they just want me to see what the fuck going on with them. And I'm crying. I mean, you know, men crying in the dark. I'm doing this, and as soon as I bring up a situation, I right, whatever, bro. Uh, this is what's happening to me today. And yeah, I don't never. I never. Yeah. I never want to do that to somebody that I fuck with. You know why? Yeah, it's so how crazy. It Side. That shit do be crazy, bro. It's so like, crazy, bro. though. It's so crazy, though, because like real shit, be a. And I, I'm probably, I'm probably, I ain't gonna even lie, I'm probably fucked up saying this shit out here like this on the internet. But at the same time, my old lady made the shit about her, and it ain't about her. Damn. That shit, that shit kind of pissed me off to the point like, don't say nothing to me right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like real shit, hey, real KB salute. My nigga P Black salute, you know what I'm saying? Uh, straight cash salute, man. I appreciate y'all brothers and y'all comments too, man. I appreciate y'all, bro. Hey, everybody else, if I, you know, whoever else I miss, because I don't really yeah. see all the comments, but whoever else I miss through these comments, man, I seen y'all was coming. I appreciate y'all, and I appreciate y'all listening. You know what I'm saying? Listening and taking it all in too. At the same time, everything about me ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? I do crack all the jokes, but everything ain't no joke with me. You know what I'm talking about? Like for real, I'm just yeah, trying to live my life and have fun, man. But I definitely fast. appreciate, I definitely appreciate this chat, and I definitely appreciate fast. these brothers on this panel because they always, they always good. Right, I definitely wanna, uh, I wanna give a shout out to, I wanna give a shout out to BA for always being there, for being my brother, man. Like I'm so glad that I'm not even that far from you. I'm not far from you, man. You're only a flight away. <laughs> <laughs> For real, you didn't be here shout out. Yeah, shout out to KB. You know what I mean for you know saluting the real P Black, uh, Sammy Grounds, Cali King eighty seven, A Smith. What it do? Straight Cash eight one three, Tampa. I see. You. Like you know everybody, but mainly Portland man. I I definitely want to give a shout out to my son. You know, I love you, son. I know you ain't old enough to look at this, but man, I love the fuck out of you. And I sub and me, like I definitely love the fuck out of my significant other, man, for real. Even though you overseas. You 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 ride for me. And if it wasn't for her, I don't think I even be here talking to y'all right now. Because a lot of my a lot of my frustration, a lot of my shit, I vent off to her. And we stay up all night FaceTiming and just talking about stuff. Getting me onto the right board, man. And, you know, I got promoted. You be needing that, bro. Yeah, you be needing yeah, that, bro. Man. Like, especially if you got that, if you got that, like, if you got that real, that real one, that, that one lady, that real one, if you got one of them That's in your life, man. bro, man, and, like, like, a lot of women don't understand that black men really, like, a lot of black men don't need shit from you. All we need is a conversation sometime or just for you to listen. And half a uh, half of women don't want to listen half the time. They, they think right. niggas just want, they think niggas just want some pussy or something. Shorty, I don't, hey, pussy, pussy, just like you can get some dick, I can get some pussy. It ain't that hard. So, it's sometimes I just need you to listen. I don't need nothing else from you. Just listen to a nigga. Straight up. Right. Cause you don't right. know what you're doing. You don't know how you helping me just by listening. Right. I'm trying to tell like, you. Like straight up. And that's a fact. And that's a fact, man. Like for real. You helping me like, more than you know just by listening. I'm trying to tell Fast. you. I'm trying to tell you. This is this is the reason. This is the reason why I don't fuck with too many people. This is the reason why when people like I do my best to try to be cool and be real with people, uh, and people might sway and do whatever type of shit. I don't. I, it's, this is why. This is why I'm alone most of the time. Cause niggas don't listen, and they don't want to listen. They don't want to listen. People in general. You feel me? Not one specific person, but people in general. And for a motherfucker to be able to listen and actually like just listen to you, even if it's for two, three minutes, two or three minutes, mm -hmm. that shit can change. That shit can change and save your life. That's a fact. Just, just a simple, hey, how you doing? How was your day? Like shit. some shit like that. What you got? Hey, you know, hey, you know what's so fucked up, bro? Real shit. What? <laughs> what is it? Hey, when 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 I had a mom, when when I got a motherfucker that listened, like like my old lady, she listened to me and shit, right? She done saved motherfuckers' lives before. 
because I was on bullshit. I was gonna go out here and smoke something before, and I sat there and talked to her, and she she like she like that calm. She 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 calmed that hawk down. If you know what I'm talking about, right? I was I was gonna I was gonna do that to somebody before, you know, a couple times. She calmed me down. So like, man, all we all we need to do is just have somebody that's gonna listen, and like we just need our black women. Our, hey, black women. Y'all stand up and y'all listen to these black men. If they just talking and y'all think they just run their mouth, just let them run their mouth because you don't know if you're saving their life. You might be saving their life. Even if they is just running their mouth, you might be saving their life. So let them run their mouth. Right. And then tell them, go, hey, then tell them, say, now go lay your ass down. And guess what? That nigga <laughs> going to say, no, nah, real shit. That nigga going to say, all right, babe, let me go lay down. Like real shit. <laughs> like seriously, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Like, bro, real, yeah, real man. shit, bro. I was finna smoke shit. Like, bro, I was finna smoke shit before. And my old lady would sit there and listen to me. And she say, I right. she say, all right, boy, come on, come here. Give me a hood. I'll give her a hood. She say, come on, I like, lay down and just hold a nigga, bro. And and look, and look, and that's that's the cure. Nigga, right you know how many cases you know how many cases I didn't catch because of that woman? Damn. So she got anything she want from me. Real oh, shit. Yeah, dog. That woman, that woman just, done saved my life, man. Yeah. Man, sometimes, man, I just feel like, you know, sometimes, you know, you got those um Straight people up. out there. That woman saved my life. Numerous you got, times, you got, bro. Yo, I feel where you're coming from, G. I feel where you're coming from, man. For real. I feel like. You know, we need to appreciate our women out there, for real. They don't, they don't deal with the good, the bad, the ugly. Especially if they cook and clean for you. Like, shit. You get what I'm saying? I feel like they, we need to be more appreciative of the women. So, shout out to the women out there, for real. What Bow say? Shout out to the ladies. <laughs> for real. Give it up for the ladies. Like, for real. We need... We need y'all, man, for real. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey A. Smith say, A. Smith say, listening is key. Silence is golden. Allow people to vent. That is A1. I swear to God, because <laughs> my nigga, I done vented so many times, bro. Oh, my goodness. You don't understand. I be ready to smoke shit off the some of the craziest <laughs> shit. I be like, what the, what this nigga say, boy? I smoke. Yeah. This nigga don't know I smoke him. Like, Bruh, I'm telling you, that's A1 right That That right there, that's A1 right there. Because, like, B.A., you know me, bro. You know I, bro, I don't give a damn, bro. Yeah. I'm smoking, nigga. I don't care, bro. Yeah. I yeah. smoke them off of the boots, bro. I'm not playing, bro. Yeah. yeah. Boy, I should be a battle rapper. Hey, yo. We start battling. I couldn't be, yeah. I couldn't be a battle rapper. My feelings would be hurt. I'd be ready to Man. slap somebody in their face. <laughs> Real, man. Bro, I'm about I still backhand. be a battle rapper, bro. I'm talking about backhand. Though, my rebuttal so crazy. Somebody else. He said, yo. Yo. <laughs> hey, matter of fact, man, shoot. Run through them predictions. I done missed it. What man, y'all hey, got? Yeah, it's too late, man. It's late, man. We done did them already. This is three man. hours and 45 minutes. But we going to talk, though. We going we gonna to talk. Hey. I I'm definitely know. finna have to salute y'all brothers, man. I'm finna jump off here. Yeah. But hey, you. real shit. Hey, look, B A, appreciate you, bro. You know I love you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. You too, bro. Smoke you know Kings. It. I don't know if you done fell asleep or no. Love you, bro. Hey, shooter, got love for you, bro. Hundred percent love, bro. Man, I got it. Got love for you too, my nigga. Like, hey, for real, real. we gonna keep, we gonna be on here talking, man. Hey, chat. I appreciate y'all. Hey, real K B. Straight cash, P Black, you know you my man's and shit. Motherfucking yo yo, yeah, buddy that was in here, man. Shit, like Samurai Sammy, I seen you jumping this joint too, Samurai. Yeah, on yo. the real, yeah, on the Sammy. real. I'm trying to scroll up and make sure you know. I I, I say as many motherfuckers as I can. Cali King, a hundred. Hey, all y'all, all y'all in the chat, man. I got love for y'all. Just even just listening, you know what I'm talking about? Like straight up, even just listening, man, and and. Hey man, Miss VA, that's my baby girl. Y'all already know that, but hey, y'all get y'all motherfucking bars up. Y'all know for a fact y'all can't find me. <laughs> y'all can't find me. Shit. Hey, don't even look hey. for me. Hey, get on. Hey, 
get on get on YouTube and search Keystone underscore and figure out the rest. If you found me, I love you. I'm gonna follow you back. Yeah, yo, yo, Keystone <laughs> underscore, figure out the rest. I'll follow you back if you found me. Oh, Stone, I got you. Man, you know what, man? Dang, I wish Battle Truth was on here to close us out in prayer for real. Hey, hey, that's all right. Hey, but it's cool though. Everybody's just, everybody's just have a nice, blessed night, man, for real. And BA, I'm gonna call you after this. I got some news for you, dog. Oh, that sounds pretty fire. Yes, I think sir. it's hey, about I'll that. I think easy. it's about that. I think about hey. that time. Peace and love, Keystone. You know what time it is. We you know. Oh, yeah. You know, I'll holler at you tomorrow before I go in for work and shit in the a.m. Not the a.m., but the afternoon. I'll holler at you before I go to work. I thank, uh, thank you for uh, thank you for coming through, man. And uh, my guy, uh, Two Eyes, said salute to you. He got all the prayers. Hey. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, appreciate salute. you, bro. Appreciate you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Appreciate, hey, hey, appreciate all y'all, yeah. man. Appreciate so all y'all. Y'all be good. Hey, Miss VA, I see you in here. Look, Miss VA, call my phone. Matter of fact, get on this call real quick. I need to holler at you anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Miss yeah. VA, get on this call. I'm finna jump on that right now so I can holler at you real quick. But hey, appreciate y'all, man. Hey, love, salute, gang, man. Facts. Thanks, you already know. And shooter, tell um tell the people um tell the people where they can find you, because I think Smoke Kings probably fell asleep. Well, y'all can find me on uh, Certified Shooters on YouTube, but we got announcement. Later on, just be on the lookout. I ain't gonna say nothing, but just be on the lookout. <laughs> but we about to like yo, I put this on everything. I put this on him. I put this on him. Like I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> trying to tell y'all, man. Niggas. They just don't know. They don't. But they I'm trying don't. to tell you. They it's gonna be very good content. And I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I got y'all. I got y'all. Hey. Facts, facts. I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. I'm I'm very excited. Like I am too, bro. Like they don't understand, but they gonna yeah, know. It's on man. some different. It's on some different shit. It's like it's different. Yeah, it's very know, different. Fuck a fuck fuck a battle rap. Niggas act like this in battle rap. One of that. Nah, just, just transition over. Let's okay. This is a whole nother level. This is a whole nother level. Like you get what I'm saying. Yeah, and if y'all fuck with this conversation that we just had today, yo, <laughs> it's gonna be real and genuine. It definitely is, man. It definitely is, man. Like we gonna get into it. We definitely gonna get into it. Just stay tuned, man. <laughs> like, dog, I'm just so happy just be even thinking about it, dog. Like for real, man. Yeah. And I spoke to one of the guests tonight. Ooh. That's why I gotta holler at you tonight. <laughs> this shit about to be different, bro. Ah. This is what I'm trying Yo. to say. That's why these A hey, all F niggas with it. What? I try I to promise you, you it won't ruin your day, but you know what I mean. I try to tell these, I try to tell these niggas, man. I try to tell these niggas, yo, everything's gonna be okay. Let's let's a hey, let's let's try to iron shit out, but niggas wanna be hard headed, they wanna be this and that. So fuck it. That's what it is. I don't got no hate for nobody. Got I love everybody. But hey, it's time to do what the fuck a nigga do. Let's get it. We're gonna elevate Salute the squad. Salute the squad. Salute the Rick, squad. Get your uh, bars up. Facts. Smoke Kings, you still there, bro? Ah, uh, nah, he, uh, he, he out. He nah, out. He ate, he ate these gummies. He ate these gummies. So I, when he eat those gummies, the motherfuckers <laughs> still in. They got all that damn THC. But anyways, peace and love to you all, man. Um, thank y'all for rocking today. And y'all already know what time it is. If you uh salute the squad, salute to everybody that was on the panel today. Um, I appreciate everybody that stopped through. Show love spoke. We went through. We had a. We had. We had the battle rap portion. Then we had the the funny, crazy ass shit portion. Then we had the real shit. But we actually spoke about um, uh, mental health today. And mental health is important. It's very, very important. So if you got people that you can talk to. 
Go talk to him. Go talk to For him. Real. Go get want, that help. Exactly. Go get that help. But if you want bullshit and you think you want that help, you don't. You like fuck them. All of this shit. Then hey, go find somebody else to talk to. Peace and love Thanks. to you all. If you don't got your bars up, then you definitely got to hold this L. Salute the squad. Holla at your boy. My family, my children, my mother can hold her head up in any neighborhood in the city when she walks down the block. See? In all the five boroughs, I'm known. Forget about it. I just wanna be a jump shot till I wanna be a dumb knot. Cut the ball us up, it's an awesome party with the last paycheck. Every time I'm tossing, I'ma run it up. Stay game, never stop, yet I'm running up. Last one shot, cause I'm coming up. 40 second on the block, words going up. Go ahead with your plot if you're coming up. Salute, salute, salute. Ah. Ah.